Ahmed Abubakar Sadiq, final year student of computer engineering at Nile University of Nigeria. My project is an autonomous delivery drone alongside with Victor Edet and Amina Kudu. My name is Ulasi Chidebem Sumto Chukun. I am a final year student of the Department of Computer Engineering at Nile University of Nigeria. My name is Abdurrahman Ali Ugambo. My team members include David Adeshna Arunbemi and Praise Mbede Anefo. We are final year students in computer engineering at Nile University of Nigeria. My name is Aldo Koji Peace, and my teammates are Hanif Adi Dotson Salamato Kabir and Sadiq Sadisu. We are presenting our project, which is the Imagine Speech EEG based BCI using AI. We are final year students in computer engineering at the now University of Nigeria. My name is Ibe Tuchuku Kadibia Innocent, a final year computer engineering student of now University of Nigeria. My name is Kamsiochi Leslie Mbachu. I'm a final year student of computer engineering at now University of Nigeria, and my project is Smart Home Automation System. It was very challenging and very fun because building a drone doesn't only have to do with the construction but also the flight of the drone. So every crash gave us an opportunity to overcome whatever adversity was in front of us. It was taxing simply because we had to be juggling school and it at the same time and that was difficult because we were still having the same amount of courses a high amount of courses while juggling this so we had to do it and I was I didn't really know how um, big the system was until I started it's not a system that you can finish in a short frame of time this is something that companies take a long time to do and I tried to do it on my own so it really taught me that one you need to know how to ask for help when you need it and two you really need to manage your time properly and things are not as easy as they appear. Just because it's pretty doesn't mean it's easy to do. My experience when building this project was a lot of learning but a lot of adversity as well. I mean, we had the project throughout the school year which means that we had to focus both on classes and developing the project but it really opened my eyes to the scale that we can take our projects to as students. You know, the, the sky's the limit as over. Um, the project was very exciting. It was one of the first of its kinds that have been done in now and in Nigeria completely. The project was arduous. It was very tasking. It took a lot of brain power. We had to learn a lot of things and my amazing teammates made it a wonderful project to embark on. Well, I would describe the whole experience as a bittersweet experience. Bitter when I encounter, you know, blockers in my programming and sweet when I, you know, um, find solutions for them. It was, it was difficult to say the least, but we pulled through, I pulled through, I pulled through and it came out better than I expected. Yeah, we did. We had so many crashes. Um, we had so many closed circuits. We had um, faulty, faulty equipment that we had to replace several, and then calibration issues also. Lots of challenges, especially because me personally, I'm more of a designer. I'm not the best at coding, but I had to do the front. I had to code a lot, and I started with the front end. And when I got to the back end, I had to get a lot of help from some professionals, some that I found at my IT places, and a good close friend of mine. I had to get serious help from them to implement it. So, and there was a very big um, collision because when I started the system, I was initially very ambitious with all the different features. So when it got to the time of implementing the logic behind that at the back end, it really posed a challenge and integrating the both of them together, a lot had to change on the front and the back. So we had to change models so many times. This was actually not the initial outlook. So it's been changing over time. So it was really taxing to get into things that I, I deemed simple from like looking out because in my head, I'm like, I can code. So I can definitely do this. So when I got there, it was a whole different ballgame, but it taught me a lot and I got to learn so much. So I wouldn't trade it for anything. As with any project, there's quite a few setbacks and challenges. Uh, in our case, uh, while we were developing one of our sensors uh, that works on this project, which is a gesture recognition wearable device, you move and it detects gestures. Uh, the main one of the main sensors was just very difficult to work with and operate for many different people. That was a major setback. Yes, we had several challenges. Coming from research, there were not a lot of papers to review for the project, the costliness of the project, so funding was kind of a big deal for us. And we also had several issues when it came to like actually constructing and implementing our project. But we were able to overcome those issues because of the amount of hard work we were able to put in. I, I did 
first of all, you know, um, connecting both software and hardware was an issue, but I later on used HTTP requests to send um, the parameters I get from my farm model to my visualized dashboard. Connecting the hardware to the application was quite tasking and making sure every component works as it should work was also difficult, but figured it out. Okay, so um, drone helps in reaching places that humans can't easily reach third, in the third dimension, basically. So we get to deliver things to rural and urban areas very easily. So basically, that's just what we're able to do. Um, so we all know that tailors are not the nicest bunch. You can have like stuff that you want to attend maybe tomorrow and they're going to keep your clothes. They will not finish it in time. So I can't really eliminate that problem because like that's it's kind of imbued. However, what I propose to do with this system is that at least because one of the issues stems from the fact that these tailors, they have so much that they're carrying on their head. They are taking like 50 people's clothes. Some of them don't even write down these measurements. They put it in their head. They think they can do it all by themselves. So this system at this, even if they open, they don't even need to use them, they can just open their system. Oh, I have 20 pending orders. Oh, I've completed these orders today. Oh, this is overdue. This means this person's clothes is actually supposed to have been finished. Let me pause this other pending ones and get to these overdue ones. Let me not make my customer upset. So if they can at least do that, I think that it will significantly reduce the incompetency problems and the poor time management problems. So I think it's pretty decent. So the contribution of the knowledge that I would recommend for anyone who's creating such a device in the future is um, just making sure that each contiguous component is made to work independently and consistently. One of the major problems we had, especially when it comes to data collection, because we're training an AI, is making sure that every time you train, you collect data, you're collecting it the same way. So making sure that your pipeline is secure and consistent and also your technology is secure and consistent makes that job a whole lot easier. Um, the project generally focuses on people that are paralyzed, in coma, locked into rooms. So people that do not have independent use of their limbs, we give, them, we give that back to them. We give them the opportunity to live in the world again and be mobile. Okay, so with the whole system, farmers don't need to guess um, when to apply fertilizers or when to um, water the plants or whatnot. The system automatically does it, reducing human intervention in the, to the barest minimum. We all can attest to the fact that electricity tariff in Nigeria is on the increase and I designed the system to be able to reduce the amount of electricity that we pay for or we consume every day. So, for instance, if you leave your fan on and there's nobody using it, you could switch it off wherever you are and that is the advantage of this system.